Well, let's move to Florida now. After Hurricanes Ian and Nicole barreled through the Sunshine State, there is a heightened concern for area beaches. Yeah, that's right. Red tide now lining southwest Florida's coast from Lee County up to Sarasota. I think there are some reports up into Manatee County as well. And the bloom appears to be growing. So for more on what this means for the beaches and the marine life in the Sunshine State, let's bring in environmental engineer Dr. Tracy Fanara. Tracy, so great to have you back here on Fox Weather Across America. Thank you so much for having me. Unfortunately, several weeks ago, you said that this was a concern. That was after Ian. Now we threw Nicole into the mix, an extreme amount of rain in some of these areas, and also some upwelling that has occurred on, on both sides of the peninsula. So what's the concern now with what you're seeing on Florida's shorelines? Yeah, I mean, the, the upwelling events and mixing from Hurricane Ian may have initiated this bloom, but it was a patchy bloom throughout Sarasota, Charlotte, and Lee County. When Hurricane Nicole came through, the currents basically took these patches and pushed them close to shore. Then we had nutrient-rich runoff coming into the coastal waters, and now we're seeing these mass fish kills where a bloom can basically feed itself. Painful to think about. A nice, refreshing smell, maybe there on the coastline. No. <laughs> Quite the opposite, of course. Uh, very uncomfortable for the coastline of Florida. But generally, you touched on it a little bit. But what about a hurricane can contribute to this red tide? Yeah, we've seen hurricanes initiate blooms, we've seen them end blooms, and we've seen them do nothing. But in the case of Hurricane Ian and Nicole, they both seem to have played a role. Uh, Hurricane Ian with possibly the initiation um, and then Hurricane Nicole with bringing those blooms to the coastline, bringing nutrient-rich water out to feed the bloom. And then now we have a situation where we have uh, increased counts of Florida red tide um, from Manatee County all the way down to Collier County. Tracy, I know this can be a bit of an open question, but now already with this bloom perhaps just starting, you start to get the comparisons back to what happened with Irma, and that was an awful bloom that lasted a couple years to, to varying degrees. Any idea how bad this could get and how long it would last, if so? You know, it's, it's always really tough to say how long a bloom will last. We know that we got these, these mega one and a half to two year or in over two year blooms uh, about every decade or so. However, you know, we are in unprecedented times. So I can't say that we're not going to have one of these long lasting blooms. Typically, historically, blooms have lasted two to six months, but we've seen in recent years that these blooms can last longer. My hypothesis is that uh, these blooms are shifting in season, um, and with the Gulf of Mexico minimum temperatures increasing, uh, we might see them just have a completely different season and different duration entirely. But there are so many different factors that come into play when we're talking about these blooms, initiation, dissipation. Um, so, so it's really just tough to say right now how long this bloom is going to last. Right, and so many impacts with this along the coastline. Environmental engineer Tracy Fanara, thanks for being here on Fox Weather Across America. Thanks for having me, guys. I'm Amy Freeze. Welcome to Fox Weather's YouTube page. We have more great videos on the way, so make sure to subscribe to stay updated on all things weather.